All right, my peeps, I'm here with the last prediction game video for Money in the Bank 2014. This is Big E versus the super athlete, the awesome super athlete, Rusev. Now, I'm looking forward to this match once again. I was looking forward to the first one. It did not disappoint. I mean, it was, it was short. It was shorter than I expected. But like I said before, for the short time it got... It was good. It doesn't need to be, you know, a long match to be good. Actually, maybe if it was, like, really long, it would have been boring or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to this once again. It's just, uh, it's a cool match to see. And uh, it's cool to see somebody, you know, somebody give Rusev an actual back and forth match. And the, the, the match they had last time was pretty intense, pretty cool. And this time, I think we're going to get a closer match than last time. A closer bout. At least that's what I'm hoping we're going to get. And I'm also hoping it lasts a while longer. Uh, it's not as short as the last one. I know, though, this time there is two ladder matches. You know, both of them uh, involving many superstars. One of them with eight superstars. And one with possibly seven superstars. And those matches usually take up, you know, a good amount of time. So, you know... I don't know if there is going to be enough time for this match to get a good amount of time, or at least a little bit more time than the last time at, at Payback. Now, as far as why I think Rusev's going to win this, I just think the undefeated streak is going to continue. Uh, I don't think it's going to stop until Rusev moves up to, you know, main event superstar and possibly challenges for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Until then, I think Rusev's going to remain undefeated. I see them taking the same route they did with Umaga, where Umaga was undefeated for, for a while until he, he took on John Cena, who at the time was the WWE Champion. It it's the same thing also with Ryback. Ryback undefeated for a while until he took on CM Punk. Although with Ryback, though, he kind of moved up. He was... He started off, you know, against these jobbers, local talents, uh, handicap matches, unknown superstars, unknown, unknown wrestlers, and then moved on a bit to, you know, lower card wrestlers, and then like right away he shot up to, you know, the main events. But in this case, was in this case with Rusev, it's a bit different, where, you know, he did, he didn't really take on any jobbers, like any local talent. He took on like the lower carders right away. And right now, he's already getting his, like, first feud, uh, and a pretty cool feud at that, in my opinion, uh, against Big E. And after this, I don't know where he goes after this, who he feuds with, but, like I said, I think he's going to remain undefeated and keep beating superstars until he takes on, like, John Cena or whoever is champion whenever, whenever it's time for Rusev to get a title match. Because that way, it also makes, you know, that title match, when it comes time for a title match, it makes it that much more interesting and unpredictable because you've got this undefeated guy. And you're wondering, you know, whether or not this undefeated streak continues on with him winning the championship or not. But, you know, that's me looking a bit maybe too far into this. But really, you know, what, what I'm just looking forward to is a good brawl and an intense match. I'm a fan of both these guys. You know, I'm a fan of Big E, uh, and you know, I, I, I don't, really I don't mind if he loses this match. I don't think it's gonna you know hurt Big E in a big way. And like I said, I think it's gonna be a closer match where Big E is like close to getting a victory, but then in the end, Rusev pulls off the win. Maybe Big E like makes a mistake or Lana distracts Big E. Uh, maybe not like she did in this simulation where she got actually in the ring. But, you know, one thing actually I'd like to see is maybe Big E like hits the big ending and then everybody's, oh shit, you know, is, is he going to get the win? Is Rusev going to, you know, lose his undefeated streak? But then you have maybe Lana distract Big E or something like that. And that allows Rusev to get up from from the pin and then he can capital capitalize on that and actually you'll see an example of that pretty soon uh in this simulation also i'd like to correct something i said in the payback prediction game video for Big E versus rusev i had said that if rusev beats Big E at payback and makes him tap out that that would be the first time 
on, you know, since Biggie debuted on the roster, that he had, you know, that he would have tapped out. But actually, I was wrong with that, and, you know, I think two people pointed that out, saying that Del Rio made him tap out. By the way, check this out. Uh, just like I said, you know, this is something I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Money the Bank, you know, Biggie hitting the big ending. But then something happens, you know, Lana distracts him or something like that, and eventually Rusev picks up the win. But, uh, like I was saying, I was corrected last time where... I thought that if Rusev made Big E tap out at Payback, that would have been like the first time Big E taps out. But actually, somebody pointed out that Del Rio made Big E tap out, which is correct. So anyways, this match is almost over right here. Big E counters, but that won't stop Rusev from going for the super cake another time, and he hits it. And then, you know, I follow that up with the accolade, the camel clutch. So... That's pretty much it for my detailed prediction. I'm sticking with Rusev as the winner of the match. And if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, can click that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me out. With that said, I'm out, guys. See ya.